Garcia, and in this episode, we're going to be looking at a guide for taking classes. Ryan versus Ryan challenge. Where seniors are in their college process. Flashback through the decade of Sterling High School. And we see how well best friends really know each other. To start this off, let's help out those underclassmen in understanding their schedules for next year. It's about that time of year where students are meeting with their counselors to make their schedules for next year. But there's a lot of classes that students don't know about. Let's collaborate with our administration to see what those classes are. Can you explain a little bit about scientific research and design? Scientific research and design is a class for students who have some um, basic science classes, uh, biology, chemistry, at least, and who want to develop um, their own topics. So they want to choose a topic and do their own research and experiments in order to kind of develop that whole scientific inquiry model. Uh, we have two levels of creative writing, creative writing one and creative writing two, and so this class explores the genres that aren't typically covered in your English language arts classes, so they'll be writing um, poetry, they'll be writing narratives, and uh, they create a blog to showcase all of their writings, so it's a very personalized class. Special topics we have, um, and the topic or the genre of the, the literature changes, so it's a chance for students to do more in-depth reading in maybe in a particular area of interest for them. So this year we have sports literature, so all of the uh, materials in the class revolve around the sports world, and next year we'll be adding a, a ghost stories, um, kind of a supernatural class as well. Can you tell us a little bit about the adulting class? Um, the adulting class was new for us this year, and it came from students requesting or feeling like they weren't prepared for everything that they would need to know as an adult. So we pulled the students and pulled together the topics that they really wanted to know about, and that included um, things like how to go out and manage your finances, to buy a car, to buy a house, um, do taxes, things about running a household. And so Mr. Lacey is teaching that class from student requests. What's one of the positive things you've seen come out of this class? I think students just feeling more confident that they'll be able to take that next step and be okay. So who would you recommend this class to? Um, really any, any student who wants to be more independent in their finances and understand that they feel like they don't have a good solid understanding of what they will need to do in order to run a household, to manage a budget, um, do their taxes, and oftentimes students get that information from you know picking it up with their parents or their parents are modeling and teaching it to them, but if students feel like they don't have that yet, this will help them be more confident. Can you tell us a little bit about APCSP? APCSP is um, one of our computer science classes and we have some classes that are building classes for that. Our introduction to programming for um, Java and then for Apple. But APCSP is a little bit more advanced and it helps students learn different languages for coding. And those are skills that can be applied in any content area that they choose to go into. So it's not necessarily just for people who want to become computer programmers, but more people within different jobs are being asked to create apps for their companies or manage websites. And this will help them kind of navigate that with more confidence. So what's one of the positive outcomes of this class? I think just an awareness of this huge field and how it impacts the world and how um, people can use those skills to make things in their lives more efficient. Thank you for watching and choose wisely. Yeah. Students, be ready to choose your classes. And don't be afraid to try something new. Now let's figure out which Ryan Miller has a higher IQ. In this edition of Carter vs. Kale, we will be having them take an IQ test. Who do you think is going to win? What number are you on, Kale? Your mom. Can we get an update? How are things going so far? Terrible. Kale? I am not doing too hot. <laughs> I don't have a...
I need to touch on, I'm not able to do this one. Oh, this is a yes or no question. I don't know. Alright. Alright, alright. I didn't get all the questions done. What do I? Did you click some that? Yeah. <laughs> I got a seven. I got a seven. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. All that. Like, all <laughs> that. What now? <laughs> Well, looks like they need to hit the books. Now back to our anchors. Thanks, Kaden. Well, that was a surprise. With both Ryan brothers up a point, not much has changed in the sibling rivalry. Speaking of being smart, let's check in with our seniors to see where they are and their plans for next year. Since it's second semester, let's check out how college plans and future are going for our seniors. Do you know where you want to go to school? Uh, I'm planning somewhere on the East Coast, preferably New York, as I just really love the city and just the state in general. I would love it. What majors are you interested in? Uh, I'm thinking about doing uh, social science education with possibly a second degree in either political science or music in general. Is there any clubs you plan on getting involved in while you're in college? Uh, I'd be very interested in student government. It's always something I kind of wanted to do, but never have. So it'd be interesting to see how that work goes out. Yes. What are your plans for the future? Uh, my plans for the future are being in the Marines for about four to eight years, and then hopefully after that, becoming a state police or a police officer. Why did you choose to join the Marines? Uh, it's just always been a lifelong goal of mine. Ever since I was young, people would say like, oh, what do you want to do? And I'd say, be a Marine. I also, uh, the honor from it and the respect you get is a huge part of it too. What's one thing you're looking forward to while in the Marines? Oh, one thing I'm looking forward to is serving the greatest country in the world. Good luck to all of you seniors on your future plans. Now back to the anchors. Thanks, Junior. We've got some big plans for next year and lots to be proud of from this year's senior class. Did you know that at this point in time, we have five graduates from Sterling High School and the academies? Enough with looking forward to the future. We're throwing it back to the past now and seeing how the high school has changed throughout the decade. call the best friend test and seeing how well these friends really know each other. Hmm. Let's see how friendships at SHS have evolved.
best friends are. This is the second year of a best friend test on the Sterling Stream. Maybe next year you and your best friend will be on here. Thanks for joining in on this episode. We hope you enjoyed and we will see you here next week. I'm Madeline Barnhart. And I'm Monica Garcia. And that's the Sterling Stream.